Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like it o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom, B Pal Picks Edition. And I got a letter here from uh, Jaime Furbank. Jaime Furbank? Jaime Furbank. From uh, Soulignau, Belgium. Soulignau, Belgium. Uh, asking. Uh, uh, where can you find a how, uh, spanking house, a house of spanking? Um, um, I have started my own. It's my own business, my uh, Perlo's House of Spanking, which I may, I kind of have to use today. I think I might be down a little bit. Uh, I hit a lot of picks, but I didn't hit my big picks. Don't you hate it when that happens? Yeah. There was a lot of funky stuff that happened today, wasn't there? But, uh, sorry, Jaime, I think, I hope that's how you say it. Uh, in Belgium, I, I'd have to look that up for you. Are you not getting your spankings in Belgium when you need them? That's, uh, I don't know much about Belgium, but I'm not sure that that's a really good tourist uh, thing for me, for you to be spreading around. Uh, you know, maybe I'll look into uh, starting, starting one there. That would be a good idea, right? Going to start expanding. Perlo's House of Spanking, it's the best there, I said it. So any of you, you probably, a lot of you after today may need to come down to the House of Spanking and just uh, just, give, uh, just go down, ask for Poon. She runs the uh, House of Spanking there. She, she also runs uh, uh, Chinky's House of uh Pilates and yoga. It's all in the same place. We work it together. Just ask for Poon and uh, she'll, 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 tell, she'll get you all fixed up. Because every once in a while you need a good spanking, right? Like when things are just going south and you just did something really stupid and you need to get your head straight. That should be my slogan. When you need to get your head straight, Pearl is house is bank. Although head straight, yeah, whatever. I can work on that. I don't have a slogan yet. It's so popular, I haven't had to come up with one. Okay, well, let's look over our picks from yesterday, shall we? By the way, there are people out there in the land that are hitting the uh, subscribe button. And they're getting a pearl, uh, my NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklace uh, sent to their door by Melissa or Hernandez in the Pearlicopter. So... Yeah, just uh, for you. Oh, yeah, I got many letters to send your letters. We love it. Jaime goes down to the mail room with this, brings up the sack of letters every day, poured over the letter table. Uh, we got lots of letters saying that they haven't got their pearls of wisdom necklace yet. Hernandez and are very busy. Just set up a tent outside there. I'm sure it'll be around there in the backyard or whatever. I'm sure it'll be around there uh, uh, eventually. Right. Okay, let's go look at our uh, picks from yesterday, and then we'll we got well, we got a, a light schedule for Wednesday night, uh, but we will look at our picks from yesterday, and we'll I'll give you all the lines and everything. Now, people ask me, okay, why would I want to go over to your Patreon? By the way, that's PayPal picks in the Patreon. There, you hit it, I'll give you a free month. Uh, the 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 rest of this month for free. Uh, and uh, we do parlay challenges over there. You won't get my parlays here on this, uh, and I hit a lot of them. I hit a lot of parlays. You won't get them on here. You won't get baseball picks. You won't get uh, NCAA picks. You won't get tennis picks that I just hit like mad, hit like crazy, just hit a tennis parlay today. Uh, you won't get all that. You'll get some hockey picks, and not only that, I change it up. Like if I get information throughout the day, I may say, hey, take that one off. Don't do that. Cancel that pick before the game or uh, something like that. But let's look at our picks. Okay. We had Lightning versus Red Wings. I had it in reg and I had the, I believe I had the under. It just got spanked on this one. I had five points. Or, uh, sorry, I had large pearls in reg. And the, I'm, what's the Red Wings doing like against the Red Wings? 
the Lightning doing against the Red Wings, who uh, yeah, they just got to win that game. Larkin was back in, I know. But still, they got to be all over that game. Anyways, happens. All the other cappers I talked to were PL in this all day as well. Um, but it didn't come in. So we lost on that one. Uh, Blackhawks versus Stars also did not do very do, But we had small pearls on Blackhawks, PL, and an under. So didn't get that one. Did have... Uh, over, I think it was over, yes, over here, which was a wash, and we had the Penguins for uh, two, p two pearls, which came in. We had the Islanders, and we had the under for really big pearls. So that pretty much made up for this one here, made up for that one there. This made up for this and more. Uh, the Flyers screwed everybody, didn't they? We had the over, though. So it didn't really, wasn't that much of a loss, if any at all. Just like pretty much a wash. But come on, Flyers. Also had them in parlays and two parlays that I did. Uh, yeah, it's terrible. I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to send them all to the Perlos House of Spanking. That's it. Uh, well, I'll get, you know, I'll get on the horn because Melissa and Hernandez are not here right now. I'll get on the horn. I'll get them to get all the rustle up all the flyers, especially Gustafson. Gustafson is going to get a full three hour package of spanking tomorrow. Three hours full. But I'm going to make them pay too. Screw that. They're not getting it for free. Forget that. They're, they're going to have to pay. That's brutal. You're losing the. Uh, well, they won against the Buffalo Sabres, but it's like a loss because everybody lost, because everybody took the flyers PL. Or in regulation, nobody except for a parlay. I did have a, a parlay on them. That's right. It was ML. I missed the parlay because I had Chicago PL, and they're getting their ass kicked. If I wouldn't have had that, I would have had. I was going to take Chicago PL. I was too late for the Islander game when I made this, or I would have been Islanders, and we would have been shut. But it didn't happen. Uh, Capitals, same thing. Capitals messed me up big time. I had the under on this. I don't know why. I didn't think the Devils were going to score enough on Vanek, Vanacek. And uh, I also did not know Wedgwood was going to be in net. That's what it is. And I didn't notice that Wedgwood was in net, or I would have switched it to the over, but I didn't. Hurricanes, again, uh, didn't screw me. I had... The Hurricanes ML for large pearls. So it makes up for a lot of this. Yeah, it actually doesn't quite make up for the Capitals one because they're only getting like half your money. So I only made like a unit and a half. So I'm down a unit and a half for today so far. Uh, Panthers, we had this. We had the Panthers and we had the over for a unit. So we were up. A little bit, another unit and a half. So that we're, we're even. And then, you know what? We're over today. Holy crap. Because we had the Jets and the over here. I thought it was a bad day until I went over and talked to you guys. It's a good thing that we connect like this, isn't it? All right, like, makes you feel good in the insides. Also, you know, comment down there in the comment section. We have a couple. Chamaroon, he comments. Uh... Well, let's find out who they are. I'll tell you right now. Why not? Why not? Why not? Who are they? Uh, look at Daniel Langren. Ask, how are you doing? I'm doing good tonight. Look at that. Simple as that. That's all you got to say. Good morning, Perlo. Ronald Sanders just says good morning. Just says good morning. Imagine that. Uh, and uh, Shamaroon, like I said, Shamaroon Lynn, he does. He gives parlays. And uh, I'd like lots of you guys to do that. Throw your parlays down there. If you hit a parlay, I'll give you a free month. Simple as that. Free month if you hit a parlay. So simple. If you want to sign up now, I'll give you a month. If you hit a parlay, uh, like a good three-pick parlay, it's got to be at least a three-pick parlay, I'll give you a free month after that. Just made that up right now. So go ahead and do that. 
Okay, let's look at our picks for tomorrow. Well, I gotta stop this. I gotta stop this or you're gonna hear it in the background. There we go. Okay. Um, here we go. Odds. So we have uh, Vegas versus Minnesota. I'm going to go back to Vegas on this. Uh, as far as I know, Stone and Peter Angelo are still out. With Flurry Rock and everybody's socks up, I wouldn't go all over here. And I'm going to change it likely if Talbot is in net. If Talbot is in net, I may not go with, I um, might go with Vegas. So we'll see. But. Right now, I'm taking the Wild, and if Flurry's in net, I'm going to go the under, which the Wild are usually always over. They burnt me last time, though. Just Flurry's too good. And if uh, Kakinen is in, he's there. those are just too good of goaltenders to go to bet an over on. Edmonton versus Ottawa. I, I'm The play is the under here. Might as well go under. Uh... Uh, it's six and a half. Edmonton just can't score lately. I don't know when they're going to break out. Are they going to break out now? Murray is inconsistent. It's possible, but I'm not going to bet on it. I think you might as well put half a unit on Ottawa to win. Might as well. Because you're getting no juice, and I'm not taking Edmonton in regulation right now. They're playing like garbage. So you might as well put half a unit on Ottawa 300 or at least PL it what are we getting on the spread uh, 180 yeah it's a very good chance to at least only lose by one uh, so yeah I would probably do that Colorado versus Arizona tough one all the injuries with Colorado now the last game Colorado outplayed Arizona quite a bit and lost uh, I think they're going to outplay them and win this time. However, I don't like going in reg against Arizona. So you're getting such little juice. But put a unit on, take your half of money and walk. That's pretty much what I would do there. Uh, as far as the total is concerned, at five and a half. <sighs> Grubauer has been off and on, off and on, off and on. Ranta... When he has to play too much, he doesn't play well. I'd probably say over, but I wouldn't bet much again. Only one. Uh, Los Angeles versus Anaheim. Peterson, both, last game, both goaltenders, and I believe it was Gibson, couldn't stop nothing. Couldn't stop nothing. If Anaheim, you might, like, you, oh boy. Like, seriously, I don't even know what these two teams right now. I think, again, this is one of those ones where you just take the juice and cross your fingers. Go with Anaheim, 205. I really liked Peterson, but lately he hasn't been great. And he's probably going to be back in again because I do believe Quick is injured. Maybe he doesn't have back-to-back -back difficult games and Los Angeles comes back and pulls this one out. L.A., money line. There, said it. Uh, as far as over, under, probably over the way nobody can stop Pox. You think Gibson would start stopping now, though? I, I'm very confused about that one. Probably fade it altogether. Uh, Montreal, Vancouver. I uh, I love the way Demko is playing right now. Uh, I'm going to go... Vancouver, but may, and the under. I'm going to keep on going under on these two teams. Uh, they have a, the new coach is trying to really preach defense from Montreal, and I think he's doing it fairly successfully. Uh, and Demko is playing so solid that I think both teams will have a difficult time scoring. I don't like Montreal at 167 on the road against a Vancouver team that's had some rest. Um, I'm going to take Vancouver money line for 230. That's what I'm going to do. Well, boys and girls, that's my full 42%.
that is all I have to give to you today. I'm going to be back here tomorrow. Oh, I also want to tell you something. I've got a live show that I do from 3 till 5 Eastern. Uh, Monday to Friday. It'll be tomorrow. It's called um, the, the Pearl of Wisdom Show. And uh, you can go on there. And what you do is we, first of all, we'll talk about our, the picks from the day before. Uh, and we'll see who was right. And then for the second part of the, it's for two hours. And the second part of the show, we look at the picks, the next day's picks. Everybody gives their picks and we see who gets it right on. And if you get it, Pearls of Wisdom Necklace right to you. Uh, eventually what we're going to do is we're going to start taking, seeing, we're going to actually start giving prizes and stuff like that probably. But as of right now, that's what we're going to be doing for that. Plus we talk about any news that came up, trades. You can ask questions. It's very interactive. Not really just ask questions. You can make comments. They're very well, they're very, uh, the, the people that, uh, watch are, are, uh, very, uh, what's it, intelligent hockey minds too uh right varied from everybody though i mean you don't have to be a huge hockey person you can just have fun with it too but all the kind of people and it's very interactive so we comment and we i ask them what they think about predictions about what's going to happen and not just games but trades and all that kind of stuff like that it's fun there will be frolic that's all you really need to know right okay that was my full party too everybody have a great day. Lots of love to ya. Okay, bye.